a welcome. Welcome, Terry. Welcome, Chris. Uh, Terry, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell the other people a 30 second potted history of you. Uh, Terry Waldron. Um, I've worked in the hospitality industry for too many decades now to say, um, but it started in hotels and I've worked through both hotels, contract catering, and I have stepped outside the industry as well um, over those years. Um, right now, I am one of the people that's been impacted by COVID-19, so I'm searching for my next job opportunity. Um, but in the meantime, keeping myself um, busy working on CareerScope and other charitable initiatives. Amazing. Chris? Um, my name's Chris Gam. I joined Springboard as its uh, new chief exec back at end of August. Um, Previously to that, I spent the last couple of years as editor of the Caterer, so uh, not Caterer.com, but the, the media brands to the hospitality industry, uh, magazines, websites, events, all sorts of events. Caters was uh, recently, so yeah, joined Springboards three months ago, um, and it's just an amazing uh, organisation to be involved with, with a really important purpose right now to support, support hospitality workforce, bring young people and promote the industry as a great place to work to future-proof the talent pipeline for the industry. And I mean, that's so important. Uh, we're, at, we're, we're at a really weird point in hospitality history. Um, and it's a pivotal moment, I think. I think we've all now got our part to play in making sure that we're ready to roll out of this as quickly and effectively as we possibly can do. So as you said, we're here to talk about CareerScope. So Terry, tell me about CareerScope. What is it? Well, CareerScope is a single hub, a portal, if you like, um, for anybody who has been found themselves out of work, furloughed and in work and struggling with the rapid change that their um, business might be going through. It's a support um, area for the candidates to find everything from um, careers advice, writing CVs, interview techniques, but also the more holistic support, whether that's through mental health, financial support um, and anything you know, a network that allows people to uh, to search for everything that's out there. There's also a community um, hub within there so that people can interact with each other and the job searching, which is crucial. Um, so CareerScope is about ultimately, if there are three things, it's giving people the resilience that they need um, to get through what we're all going through at the moment. Um, to remain engaged with the industry because we all love it. I've been in the industry since I was 14, not that long ago, obviously, um, and to have them ready um, to get back into work when those jobs return because they, they will return and we want everybody to be fighting fit and um, have the skills necessary to take up those jobs. So you've got a real cross section there of real practicable stuff that can be helpful that can, we can go and put into work right here and right now but then also that kind of uh, the emotional support that I think we all need right now, if I'm honest with you, you know, it's not one of us is above kind of needing somebody to speak to about kind of a situation that we find ourselves in. I think there's very few of us who life is perfect for us right now. Absolutely. Hospital the beauty of hospitality, it's such a diverse um, uh, industry of all sorts of different roles and um, uh, opportunities and everyone in this situation is affecting us all. Everyone's going to need, different different support different different uh, levels of, of of support or advice and we've tried to capture everything within careerscope whether you just need pointing in the right direction and sharpening up a few skills and then and then back into work or other people will need much more support and we've tried to capture everything uh, within it and and kieran it's not about careerscope creating these um areas of help and support it's about taking what's already there, the best that's out there from within the industry already. There are some amazing um, industry initiatives that have launched these support networks and those that have existed forever. So hospitality action on the holistic um, support side, obviously, um, springboard for the education side for the young people entering into work or needing to retrain or you know get, get back into work and the Institute of Hospitality as our you know core industry body from a professional perspective HOSPA the UK hospitality everybody has built areas for employees within the hospitality industry to go to and career scope is about taking everybody to one place to then find those resources rather than having to go to five or six different places. Well, how, it, how it came about is there's five, so five organisations, uh, Hospitality Action, UK Hospitality, 
Institute of Hospitality, Savoy Educational Trust and Springboard. They're all playing uh, a really important role in supporting the industry and have done for many, many years. They, we came together to say that now our, our support has never been needed more. We're all offering complementary support. We're all, off, all supporting people in, in different ways, whether it's lobbying on behalf of the voice of the industry or, or bringing people into it or training them up or supporting them once they're um, within the industry and experiencing a tough time. So we're all really complementary. Wouldn't ask, wouldn't we be more powerful when we're all working together? And the yeah. combined effort is greater than us at the individual parts. So we we came together and said, yes, we do want to work together. And, and, and we and, and we and we looked at the industry and said, what support do we need to offer? What's what can we offer? What role can we play? And how can we deliver it? And and so that's that's where it came from. That's how we that's how we hit upon career scope. And we said, as Toge just said, there's lots of great things happening. We don't want to duplicate that. There's no point duplicating it. There's no point trying to redo something that someone's already doing really well. So we said, how do we leverage all the great things that are happening in the industry right now for the good of its people, our people, to keep them ready for work, but also to support businesses as well, to, to, support the, to support the employers so they can look after their people because they know they're going to need them back at some point in the future. And just to show that we're, a, we're, a, we're an industry that's been hit really hard by COVID, but we look after our people. We, we, yeah. we look after our people and we support our people and we're, we're, we're a great industry full of great employers. Well, there's a lot of people, I think, as you've just highlighted, a lot of people that are working um, to create the support that is necessary. Um, and I, I think you're right. I think kind of having as much as we can, as accessible as we possibly can do, um, does make perfect sense. So thinking about kind of some of those people who are involved there. So hospitality action. What, how are they involved? What are, what are they doing for uh, CareerScope? And for those that don't know Hospitality Action, Kieran, you know, their, their core ethos and through the um, CareerScope hub is the um, well-being elements of it. So their health and well-being, financial support and advice, counselling, if that is needed. That is one of the things that they're tremendous um, at doing. Um, and it is allowing them to people to find um, hospitality action when they need them. Um, but it's also ensuring that the employers know where to point their employees to as well. So it's for the individuals, but it's also a tool for employers to use to um, point their team members to because it's massively disruptive and um, a difficult time, but with, you know, with opportunities at the end, but a difficult time right now. Um, so this hub will help both the individuals and employers and hospitality action specifically will help on those. One of the, the real benefits of this is you guys as I mean, that's some industry heavyweights that I'm, I'm here reading on that list who are doing amazing work. But the idea that you're all kind of coming together and shining a light on one another and kind of the specific areas of what you can do and how you can help. For those people who maybe aren't 100 percent aware of what you do, of what maybe one part of it does. Boom. This is a real nice little kind of foot, to, foot through the door to say, well, actually, this is what this can do for you. Absolutely. And we built it. How we built it was rather than saying we're springboard and this is what we do and put and or we're hospitality action and, and come to us if you need this. We've built it with a almost a user approach. And so we've, yeah. set, we've built it around the needs of the users. So as Terry said, five pillars. So careers advice or training. So if you need training, what might you need? You might need some employability skills or you might need some specific hospitality skills or, and then, and so depending on what you need, that you, you go and look in that place. And when you're in that place, it could be Springboard you find, or it could be Institute of Hospitality, or it could be cater.com, or it could be, it could be anyone, it could be hit training. So it's, yeah, um, yeah sort of reverse. And I think important point, it's all free. It is free resources, free training, uh, free support, free webinars. Um, and I think that's really important. What the industry bodies and all of the supporters in the industry, the partners have put together as free resources is extraordinary. It's, um, I, I mean, I've, I've had the time <laughs> to be able to look at many of them. Um, and I think everybody should take a look at each of those training facilities and the support that's available. And it's, um, it's, co it's constantly growing as well. We launched, uh, our approach was, we wanted to launch it fairly quickly. So I think the conversation started in August and we had it live within September with like a, a, v, a V1. And then it's, we, we launched and, we, and we've, we've built, we've layered things on. 
and and it sort of draws out people get in touch with us saying hey i've got a great resource how can how can i use this how can i how can i offer this to your to your audience so we 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 built it we built it up then we cut it back a bit we sort of uh, edited it a bit we we curated the content to make yeah. sure that we're not just chucking too much at people it has to be um the best of, of what of, in each area so but, what so, kind of content yeah. will i find on there what um, do you do a mix, a mix of everything, really. It's, it's, it's as, as Terry said, we're not, by and large, we're not create. We, it's not us. It's not career scope creating yeah. content. It's pointing people towards the content that other experts are are creating. So, some caterer.com's webinars will be within there. Some of Institute of Hospitality's webinars. It might just sometimes it's just about bouncing people straight off onto the relevant website. So, if you need financial support you know rather than just tr tr writing about it we just send them straight to hospitality action if you want um, to take part in one of springboard's uh, employability programs say a three-week training course we just we just send you straight to the registration page for that however if you're interested in um i think there's some careers webinars how do you get your careers back on track we just we, we've just pulled together lots of different maybe 10 or so webinars from all different places sat in a sat in a hub and so you can you can flip through and they might be anything from mindfulness to safety at work to um uh, in, yeah, anything uh, the you know, uk um uk hospitality cpl learning hub is you can access it through career scope and they have everything from soft skills to hard skills. I haven't had the opportunity to watch all of the videos, but when you register for their training, um, you'll equally get um, certificates. And the same with some of the training that um, Chris and the Springboard team are offering directly, their digital training uh, platforms. You know, you, you will receive accredited certificates at the end of doing the training. And it'll be a combination of, you know, walking through a digital training without any spoken or um, video work but then there'll be separate ones where you've got a combination and um, I think it's the world we're all living in now Kieran everything uh, all training is digital and talking. there are also training courses where people can sign up and they might be live with other people or get or get feedback um, from online tutors but the important point from my perspective as we're talking to people that are either furloughed or um, out of work at the moment is that they can access it for for free at the moment and it's vast the amount of training that's out there the world is changing as we all know so we know that kind of there is going to be more digital training and what you're doing actually is part of that preparation for when people go do get back into work or find their next role if that business and that job is actually saying yes we are going to do more digital training you're actually preparing them for what that looks like feels like and how they're going to actually engage with it absolutely absolutely which not everybody is going to have a huge amount of experience with, you know, it's kind of, it's new to a lot of people. This Zoom is new. I, I lose count of how many people I've said, I've, I had no idea what Zoom was before this happened. And we provided a live um, training session on resilience um, from crisis to calm over the last couple of weeks. We had two sessions and it was my first experience of coming across Zoom breakout rooms. Yep. Um, so I didn't know that Zoom had that capability. And um, so back to your training point about, you know, being in a room and being able to touch people. When we went into the breakout sessions, it was much more intimate than feeling like you were 20 people all on a screen. And you, uh, there was huge benefit to be gained from and it. And we've now got a brilliant platform that when we can go back to face-to-face -to -face training delivery, we've got a, a great bit of technology that underpins that, that means that, it gives you scale. It gives you. It, it takes away the sort of the regional complications. Um, so yeah, absolutely. And and uh, yeah, we're constantly. You know, I'm you know constantly we're looking to innovate as a, as an organisation and find new ways to um, better support the people going through our programmes. Better support them into what you know jobs is the most important thing at, at, the, at the end of it. And as as the as the industry recovers and as jobs become available, we want to be able to support everyone who's going through training and everyone who's using CareerScope into a proper meaningful live job that's that's why we're doing it it's absolutely yep. the end goal and I, th I think the thing is you know I was chatting to Lisa Wilde last week from uh, the University of East London and we were talking about the idea that at the moment it feels like hospitality is under attack if I'm honest however the joy of this industry is a we are incredibly resilient b we are incredibly adaptable 
and see, we will come out of this and we will come out of this absolutely swinging and ready and raring to go. And this concept of let's getting people ready to be coming and actually being a part of that is one of the absolute joys of this. And it's, it's something that really has, has spoken out to me as I've been reading about career scope. So I would say incredible work. Well done. So that well, digital element, um, obviously we're looking to build communities and I think there's a, there's a LinkedIn community that you guys have got going on. Correct. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Well, it, it is simply that it's a LinkedIn community. Um, the, when we first um, talked about CareerScope, we wanted that community element, not something that's managed by CareerScope or anybody centrally, but that becomes self-help, I suppose, and everybody sharing stories and helping each other and posting jobs, offering the one thing we will do with partners who are out there. So anybody who wants to provide free webinars or training to people, they can do it through the community. Um, we have a huge desire to grow that community to be bigger than it is. It's about just under a thousand members at the moment. I know how many people are out of work. We all know how many people are out of work. Um, the more people that join, employed, furloughed and out of work, the more people that will benefit from it because those that are still in work can help people that are looking for work or and those furloughed can you know gain additional skills or we'll be able to tell them about the training that's there and provide structure to people's days because one of the biggest things when you're going through change like this is having that structure and timetable to you know keep your keep your day progressing and your um, learning and you know your resilience up there. That's um, what the community is there for. It's growing. It's growing slower than I think we'd like it to, Chris. Right? I think we'd like it to grow faster. So, you know, if we were doing a shout out to people, it would be please come join the and share. Don't wait for us. You know, get stuck in and share your experiences and help others. So are we using hashtags, sort of hashtag career scope um, to really kind of to drive it across? We're trying to grow it, yes. <laughs> Wicked. Well, we'll start shouting about that more and more as a simple answer. Um, I, for me, I think a thousand members uh, from an idea that began in August is good going. You know, we're all impatient. We all yeah. want to kind of yeah. to get and help more people as, as many as we possibly can do. And I, uh, I'm with you on that. But taking a moment just to kind of recognize and celebrate that as a success. Um, sure. That thousand people would undoubtedly have felt a lot of benefit from this. And the more that we help, the more that we kind of share it, then the more it will organically grow. And the, those people will say, actually, you should get involved. So if somebody is thinking, yep, yeah, I've got a webinar, I've got some knowledge I could share. How, how do they go about sharing it as, as, as effectively as they possibly can do? Do they get in touch with you guys? Do they, are they just hashtagging it? What's the deal? Shall I, Chris? Well, they get in touch with one of the um, one of the founding companies um, and run it run it through them, um, and then we build it as simply as simply as that. They can they can see the ones that have been built already. they uh, they host them themselves. They run them themselves. We just need to see what the topic is and the dates that it's going to run, so that it's not overlapping. Essentially, it's as long as it is going, it's free. It's going to add benefit to the, any of the core pillars that we're talking about. Um, skills, engaged, resilient, simply supporting people um, to get back into work, then we'll be hard pushed to say to say no. But if we see people trying to flog their business on the back of it, then, you know, it, it probably won't make the cut. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Does seem reasonable. I mean, I have to say, but the majority of the people that I've kind of come across um, offering help out there oh, are doing it for all the right reasons. Absolutely. You know, very, very we true. haven't seen any like that, Kieran. We haven't seen anybody wanting to promote their business on the back of it. Quite the opposite. Lots of people, right, Chris? Mm. Lots of people con and organizations yeah. contacting us saying, what can we do? How can we help? It's, um, it is a, a true reflection of the industry and why I maybe wanted to work in it since I was 14 years old and my you know my parents said why I said I don't know I just have this connection to it and that's what the industry um, has always been and will always be and that's why so many people are offering um, their services. Well I think sometimes I, I've used the word hospitality family when I've been talking to people yeah. who want in this industry and they look at me like really Kieran is it and honestly, if, if 2020 has demonstrated Edmonton to me, then it's absolutely that, that we are a family. We are in this together. And there is an abundance of people out there who've got your back if you find yourself struggling. Absolutely. We have to 
do something to change the perception of the hospitality industry, to show what a brilliant industry it is, to change perceptions among parents, among young people, among teachers. This is that moment is upon us now where it, it's not just the right thing to do, it's absolutely critical and, and CareerScope is, is the beginning of that. So it's that's going to be a real major focus for the next 12 months at least, starting in January when we, we hope to kick off the sort of some marketing in a serious way. Affecting that perception of the industry is is really is one of the, the, the battles. I mean, I when I was an operator, I lose count of how many parents that I had to kind of invite into the restaurant and sit and have a chat because their their child i've looked and thought this kid's got some talent this person's got some ability and we can do something with this and then the, the young person's like yeah let's do this let's make a career and mom and dad are like whoa no care and that's not what i'd he's gonna go and be a lawyer you know that's no you're you're ruining this for me this is not what's gonna happen and I lose count of how many times I had to bring them in and say, right, let's sit and talk about what this industry can do. Let's talk about the opportunity that it can create. Because you may well begin as a waiter, as a line chef, but you can end up um, as, as a marketeer, as a HR professional. professional. You know, I went spent some time working for Hard Rock Cafe International. And the at the time, the vice president of operations, he'd started with that company as a pot washer as a pot washer, and then he was vice president of, oper of international uh, operations. That for me is a moment where I think, look, come on, nothing stops you from doing what you want to do. That's it. So <laughs> it creates the opportunity that is out there. And that for me is one of the biggest challenges we've got right now is how do we get those parents to look beyond the Gordon Ramsay gif of him holding the bread to the two people's heads and going, you are an idiot sandwich. We need to end that. It can't exist. And we show that it's absolutely a great industry where people can really flourish. I got excited there. Absolutely. I, I loved the excitement. <laughs> you feel like I do. It's my thing. I just, this has been my life like you. I've fought since the age of 13, 14. You don't stick yeah. around somewhere this long unless it brings you that level of passion and joy. And knowing that, and I use the, we all use the term family, uh, Kieran, and I, I always use it. Um, and, you know, through the many decades of my career, I'm still connected with the people um, that I started working with. Um, there are alumni, you know, set up um, within some of the organizations I've worked with. And it's, um, it's heartening to see everybody continue to come together. Um, but even the, and what I, I think they're the people that are established, but the younger generation are pushing us to give them more of the digital platform as well and to help them in a different way. And I think what CareerScope is doing to, you know, to talk about the parents and the careers advisors. The Savoy Educational Trust has a big role to play in helping the image of the industry by supporting um, the industry bodies and charities to deliver those messages into classrooms because teachers have just as big a voice um, when it comes to career selection as parents do. But showing them career scope and we have seen some learning institutions uh, talking about it and we've had um, people pointed to the website from those learning institutions, right, Chris? Yeah. Um, they're clearly talking about the industry in the right way and look at what the industry is doing to support its family through this um, difficult time and we should if we get this right which we are starting to do and we build a community um, it, we can only be stronger on the back of it and it's the first time in all the years I've been in the industry that these five founding um, bodies have worked together um, to get the best out of each organization. And that's going to continue. That's not just a COVID response. It started as a COVID response, but that's going to continue into the future of the industry now. Um, and I truly, I get goosebumps and I think, you know, watch this space, what the industry is going to achieve with these five bodies coming together and the supporting partners. So the founding partners and the supporting partners what we can achieve as an industry. If we work together, I call it ruthless collaboration. <laughs> All over that. Uh, I mean, collaboration was one of my words of 2020 at the beginning. Um, move to pivot, let's be honest with you. Um, <laughs> definitely we've gone to pivot, but collaboration is key. You know, I think yeah. just sharing those ideas, sharing that knowledge, sharing that understanding, as you say, it's the first time that these, these bodies have kind of come together imagine what we can achieve together we mm. can be unstoppable exactly so what, the industry the industry of choice kieran exactly that exactly that so what's next what's next for career scope 
we talk about kind of getting it out there to more people. How does it grow um, and how does it evolve? So, I mean, our ask of, if I was going to, uh, anyone who's watching this, I'd say that the, the ask of, of the industry right now is that employees, we, we know the recovery of hospitality is going to be, it's going to take a little time and there's going to be a few bumps in the road and we're already seeing examples of businesses unfortunately having to let let their let, let team go with, with 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 few other choices i would just ask of them look career scope is a resource to use to, to use as part of any support you're offering to your teams and please you, you know communicate to your to your those being those on furlough those being made redundant those who and neither of those, but 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 need some support, need some support to keep them keep them firing all, on all cylinders. That that is the purpose of CareerScope. So to businesses, please just use it. It's free and it's designed f- f- with your people in mind. For, for anyone who's who has been affected, again, and it's just the very start of a of of a, of a big a big campaign. I mean, so Springboard, we've got quite an, an ambitious program. We want to train up ten thousand young people over the next eighteen months to get them ready for work to get them ready for as, as the industry recovers to get them to put them into into work in the industry these are the the workers of the future and career scope's just the start of that journey we we're going to need to yeah. as, as you've said we're going to go out and be promoting the industries really hard um showcasing the industry championing it and career scope is the the start of the pipeline the start of the journey that we bring them in that kieran that you know my shout out and ask to all individuals and employers is we need their help we are five organizations five um, you know leaders of those organizations and their teams but the industry is made up of tens of thousands of people we need everybody's help to get the word out on it you know uh, caterer.com have been great at promoting it as have many of the other industry partners but we need individuals you know so to join the LinkedIn community invite your colleagues your 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 contacts in LinkedIn to join the community promote promote the life out of it but we can only do so much of that it's a shout out to the industry to say make it your resource um, and promote the life out of it to each other well let's do what we do you know let's roll with it let's run with it and let's make sure it's a success and it's available for as many people as we possibly can do absolutely terry chris it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very much thank you kieran and thank you to caterer.com as well yeah thank you very much